I'm incredibly excited that I was able to see the results of the Omnipod 5, also known as the Horizon Trial, at the Endocrine Society meetings. The reason I'm so excited about this is because many of my patients and I have been waiting for this technology to become available. It's not yet FDA approved, but at least we have the trial results. So what is the Omnipod 5 system? There are three components to the Omnipod 5 system. It consists of the Omnipod tubeless insulin pump, the Dexcom G6 continuous glucose monitor, and the Omnipod control algorithm. Now this system can actually be completely controlled from an individual's smartphone, but it has to be an Android phone. If someone doesn't have an Android phone, then they're given basically a locked Android phone for the purposes of being the controller for this system. And basically, it's a hybrid closed loop system. But again, the key here is that it uses the Omnipod. And so patients don't have to use a tethered pump. This is a different system. The things I really like about it is that unlike other systems that are similar, it has customizable targets. So people can change the targets between 110 to 150. So if you have a patient who's higher coming into this, you may not want to use such a low target as 120 or 110, but for patients who already are well controlled, you may opt for that lower target. So it gives a flexibility to targets. It has a temp glucose target mode where basically it raises the target to 150 and there's restricted insulin delivery. So that's good for situations like exercise and others where people don't want as much insulin delivered. And finally, the bolus calculator uses both CGM values, which is what the other systems do, but it also looks at the trends. It looks at if the glucose levels are going up and down and adjusts accordingly. Now, there are basically three trials that were presented. The first trial was in 128 adults and adolescents, and the data was presented by Dr. Sue Brown. This, like the others, was a three-month single-arm study, so patients were compared to their historical control. And the A1C fell from 7.16% to 6.78%, which was statistically significant. Now, these are obviously well-controlled patients coming into this, but they were able to reach their target of less than 7% in many cases. The time and range started at 65%, which again is pretty darn good, and rose to 74% with the highest time and range achieved at night. And that's what these hybrid closed loop systems basically do. In addition to what they do in the day, they do the nights really well. They are able to smooth out people's nights and keep them in the target range much more effectively than when they're eating and going about their life during the day. There also was a significant reduction in the time spent low, and two-thirds of the patients on the system had an A1C of less than 7%. Bruce Buckingham presented the data from the Omnipod 5 pivotal trial in 113 children. And again, this was a three-month single-arm study, and these kids had a higher A1C going in of 7.7%, and their A1Cs fell on average to 7%. Time and range increased from 52% to 68%. And the kids did well, and this seemed to be very well accepted in that population. The final data was presented by Dr. Bruce Bode. He presented data on four patients who were in a clinical trial using the Omnipod 5 system in people with type 2 diabetes. These are individuals who are either on basal insulin or MDI therapy who have an A1C of greater than 8.5%. So these are patients where we really want to get them under better control. And the study is meant to look at whether them pr providing them with this kind of system that can do adjustments in terms of their basal rates and help them with premial boluses can make a significant difference in their glycemic control. I'm one of the investigators in this study, and I'm actually really enjoying the process of doing this study, and hopefully it will turn out that we can help these patients as well. I'm very much looking forward to the FDA approval of the Omnipod 5 system, 
and I look forward to using it in my patients in the future. Thank you very much.